Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem, which is part of uh, November Daily Challenge. Find the players with zero or one losses. Um, so basically we have matches and each match has a winner and loser. Um, where the winner is the player that defeated the, the player loser, right? Um, and we want to return an array answer that has two values. The first value is a list of all players that have not lost any matches. So all players that won all of their matches. And then answer one needs to be all players that have lost only one match, right? And we want to, we want to return these values in sorted order. Um, yeah, so we want to return it in sorted order. Um, and we should consider that each pl the players played at least one match, maybe multiple. Um, and so, yeah, so we have the matches here. So we can do a pretty straightforward solution, right? Um, we definitely want to get the players, right, to be able to see if they won or lost. And since they are scattered, scattered around on matches, we want to add them to maybe some, some set of, of players, right? Um, so we, would, we, we want to have a set that just gets us all the players, right, so that we can check them. And then we can have um, some sort of counter for losses, right? Because we want to check those that haven't lost at all, so their losses value would be zero and those that have lost only one so the losses value is one so we can have this be either a counter or a map right where basically it would be a map from player to how many matches how many losses right um and then from there we can easily obtain what we want which is the list of the no losses and the list of losses uh, of uh, no losses and the list of one loss right um, so yeah, let's, let's get, get to it. So first we need a player, a set of players so that we can use. Um, and then we need a, um, a collection for to keep track of the... You can use a map here as well if you want. Um, okay, and then now we want to go through matches to get the winner and loser. And we want to collect those in players, uh, both. Um, okay, so once we do that, we want to also record for the loser they lost one time here right in this match um, and now we want to grab losses and those that have no losses and those have that have one loss so those two lists um, and now we want to go through the players um, so player and list players right and we want to just check if that player lost just once then we want to add it to the no loss list because now we, we know that in all matches th they never lost because the value is equal to zero, right? Um, and so in that case, we want to add them to this list. Um, now, otherwise, if they lost only once, we want to add them to the second list. So, append player. And then now, um, okay, so now we want to return these in sorted order for the first one, for the no losses one, and in sorted order for the one last one, okay? And that should be it. Um, okay, so here this needs to be players, yeah, that's the list. And we can submit. And this passes test cases, right? Um, okay, so that passes test cases. In terms of time, we are doing open here and open here, and being the number of of matches um, uh, yeah because number of players is at most the number of matches right so open and being the number of matches time um, and actually not not just open because we are also sorting open just for this part we are also sorting here and each of these can be up to n so it's open like n that's the uh, time and in terms of space we are using these extra two extra uh, spaces here each of them is at most open so open space um, yeah so that's pretty much it for this problem please like and subscribe and see you on the next one bye